So, I really want to restore this Ferrari 308. Comes in at 44.56. Alright, 44 and a half. Alright, so, I'm going to take the screws out. I've forgotten how hard a metal body is. This is a metal body. Hard to take the screws out. Let's open this up. Holy crap, what a mess. Where the heck has this been? Oh, shit. I mean, look at those seats. Oh, shit. I think it's got grass growing in there. Alright. Um, first thing I'm going to do is wash everything. Um, I know I'm going to replace the axles. They're already rusted. And the wheels. I'm just going to go wash everything up. Now, I don't show you drilling out screws or the studs. I'm not going to show you washing. I, I don't. Look at that crap in there. I don't even want to put this in the goop. Goop on. Goop off. Goop on. Goop off. The gooper. I don't even want to put this in there until I uh, wash it. I'll be back. I'm just going to wash everything. Alright, so first things first. I got the body all cleaned up. It's still a little wet. Let me dry that off. Of course. So... I don't, I don't see any major damage. Still got some good lines. That needs to be filed down. Where's my files? Damn, I moved. I hate when I move stuff. My shop's such a mess. I'm gonna need a half round. Nothing down. I just do a flat. That's going to need to be filed down a little bit. That's rough. But we're going to take that. Oh, that's done. That's done already. I don't see any other major damage except what I just did to the stud. <laughs> and I'd like to shout out to uh, Red Light Salvage Inc. Red Light Salvage Inc. sent me this car and a bunch of others. Here, let me just show you. I know I already made a video, but for you new newcomers, I got a box of jewels. Now, that guy from Red Light Salvage Inc sent me a picture of this guy but I think it was black and Elvis Presley sitting next to it or standing next to it my bad so I'm gonna try to recreate that in accordance with that picture this one ain't good for crap because that's kinda like this one that's a Chevy Nova gasser I'm not sure what this is I, I know he told me I forgot but all right so the first things first is get the body into the goop what I say goop on clap clap goop off goop on goop off the gooper all right, so we take, and we're going to dunk it into the goop. Man, I 
that's not damage. Yeah, wheel wheels feel nice. The only rough edges I felt were at the front. I gotta go check out the windshield. Okay, so there it goes. Crap, where's my brushes? Oh. Here they are. Like I said, this is really thick. But it works really well. Alright, you're not going to see any more of this until uh, I take it out and clean it up. Let's move on to the wheels. I mean, I'm not used to metal bodies. I don't have any Hot Wheels that old. So, um, the last time I tried... I broke my uh, flush cuts so I'm not doing that again I just want to make sure it's all the way in all those grooves and stuff alright let's put this aside next I think I broke the interior I'm not sure but I didn't pay attention, but this was, well, well, maybe folded out like that, and scared me when I was uh, brushing it. Now, this damn thing was so dirty, the soap bubbles turned brown. Now, look, it pops back in there. All right, so it's not broke. It was so dirty, the soap bubbles turned brown. So, nothing to do with this right now. It's clean. Let the water dry off. <laughs> this is going to be so cool. Oh, look. You got the air filters back here. Alright. Put that there. What's next? I guess you call this the body. Alright, so... These wheels are shot. This must have been played with outside. They're rusty. I'm going to have to... Uh... Now, this is not going to be any rally cross. I'm going to have to grind these out. Look how crooked that tire is. And just re man, they don't even come over. It's off center. And it won't move. It's rusty. We can fix that. <clears throat> Get those off. I'm gonna strip this too. Put a fresh coat of black enamel, black enamel. Yeah, try to get that again. Government don't want you to get any enamel paints. So, but the wheels, yeah, good luck on that going anywhere, but I'm going to fix it. I got, I got plenty of wheels. These are too big. So this is going to be, like I said, a shout out to uh, Redline Restoration Inc. Or Red, Redline Salvage Inc. So sorry, Sean. Look, that's the same size. And it's gold. I gotta find a couple more of those. I might have to go to uh, that uh, hobby shop and just start buying them instead of tearing my cars up. But I only tear up the cars I don't use. Alright. Metal body. Oh man, I love it. Next, windshield. After cleaning it, It's a little scratched, a little foggy, but remember, I got a rotary tool it's called the Binper 5000. Whoa, 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 whoa. I've got this stuff. 
Where's that blue can? I got something finer than this. Let me find it. I've got this stuff for chrome. Makes a mirror finish. So, oh, yeah, that's, there's some deep scratches in there. I'll start with this, and I'll finish with this. I'll get that cleaned up. All right, crap bola. That's all right. It's environmentally friendly. It's all natural. We're going. Where's my? I lost my sticks and paintbrush again. I put it way over here. All right. We're just going to have to move this guy over. We got to get some goop back here. There's some. Probably doesn't matter because it's inside. Get some goop over there. Make sure everything gets on the bottom. Make sure it's in there. Flip it back over. The only thing I don't like about this is it's so thick. But it really works really well. And this $40, I'm trying to save as much as I can. All right. Next is going to be polishing the windshield. All right. 